Imagine this. You just got an email from your boss and in less than a week's time, you have to prepare a presentation for a group of people that speak a variety of languages. What are you going to do? Spend hours copying and pasting your presentation to and from Google Translate? No, and that's gonna take forever. Wouldn't you rather have a tool that could translate all of your slides in less than 10 minutes? To make your life a little easier, we've developed the PowerPoint Translator tool. It's a solution that combines Python and Excel to deliver accurate and culturally relevant translations, all thanks to artificial intelligence. You can go through the process of Google Translate and even open AI's ChatGPT, but these helpers still require a bit of manual work. However, the tool we created integrates OpenAI into our PowerPoint translator, so your translations can be fully automated now. You don't need to know how to code or anything. We take care of that for you to help you easily boost your revenue. This tool helps break down language barriers in presentations, whether it's for global teams or international customers. You can forget the hours you'd spend on other translation sites with a tool that can have your PowerPoints translated in mere minutes. Let me walk you through how easy it is to use our template. By the way, we are UExec. We create business presentation templates and spreadsheet models to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly business templates and spreadsheets that will propel your career forward. If you haven't already, first you need to download Python. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to do so, skip to later in this video. Then download our PowerPoint translator template. In the unzipped folder, you'll find three different files. Make sure you keep all of these files in the same folder in order to make sure the script runs correctly. The first thing you'll need to do is acquire your own secret OpenAI key, which we will explain how to get later on in this video. Then you will move on to setting up your Excel file. Once you open the spreadsheet, type in your desired language and the country of origin. We enable the country field so that your translations can stay as true to the culturally specific dialects there might be when you need to use a certain language. You can enter these fields in English or the native language, and our script will be able to recognize it. Save your file, and then all you need to do is run our Python script we've included in the download. Later in the video, I'll walk you through the specific commands, but as you can see here, it's just a few simple clicks. In less than five minutes, you'll have your completely translated presentation. You can use the PowerPoint translator as many times as needed, whether for different presentations or to translate one into various languages. Just follow the same steps to run the script again. Each time you run it, a new translated file will be created, making it easier to manage multiple translated versions of your presentation. This way, instead of focusing on language barriers, you can prioritize developing strategies and content confident that your message will be clearly delivered in any language. Feel free to stick around so that I can walk you through the process step by step on Windows and on a Mac. And remember, like all our other videos, you can download this PowerPoint translator spreadsheet model plus 500 other business templates to save you hours of work. Just click the link below. How to get an open AI key whether you are running this tool on a Mac or a Windows computer. The first thing you'll need to do is attain an open AI key. With this integrated into our PowerPoint translator, the translation becomes fully automated. This key acts as the credential that enables communication between the model and the AI, allowing you to efficiently translate PowerPoint presentations. If you don't have one already, obtaining it is straightforward. Visit the OpenAI website and create an account if you already don't have one. Navigate to the API key section and select the option to generate a new API key. It's important to keep your OpenAI key private and not share it, as improper use could lead to charges or restrictions. Once you have your API key, you're ready to set up PowerPoint Translator tool and use it for your translations. How to set up Excel. Once you've got your OpenAI API key, the next step is to set up Excel properly. The Excel template can be found in the zipped folder provided when you download this tool. It's crucial to keep all the supplied files in the same folder and with their original names without any changes to their structure. This ensures that the tool works correctly. To configure Excel, go to the Settings tab. Here, you'll find specific fields to enter your authentication details and language preferences. In the field for the API key, 
enter the key obtained from the OpenAI website, as we mentioned earlier. Make sure you enter the key correctly, as any mistake here could prevent the translation system from working. Next, set the country and language you want your presentation translated into. The country field helps refine the translation to take into account the specific cultural context, ensuring a greater fidelity of the translated content. The language field should be filled with all the desired language for the translation. The script recognizes various languages and accepts this information in English or in your native language if different. By carefully completing these setup steps, you'll be all set to run the Python script and start the translations you need. How to install Python Before you can run the Python script to update your PowerPoint presentation, you need to install Python and all the necessary libraries. You can find a detailed tutorial in the Excel template, located under the tabs Windows Instructions and Mac Instructions. This tutorial will guide you through the installation process for both operating systems. To set up Python, follow these steps. Visit Python's official site, python.org slash downloads. Click on Downloads and choose version 3.11 or newer. Launch the downloaded installer to begin the installation process. Windows users should note to check the Add Python to Path option during installation. If you miss this step, uninstall Python and reinstall it, ensuring the Path option is selected. This step is vital for future script executions using the Windows command prompt. So here's where it gets a little different for Mac and Windows computers. I'm going to start with a Windows tutorial, so if you're on a Mac, feel free to skip ahead. How to install the necessary libraries. Python libraries improve a script's capabilities, enabling functionalities such as OpenAI integration or Excel file reading. All essential libraries for this tool are detailed in the provided requirements.txt file. Without them, the script won't work. You only have to set up this once. In Windows, use the File Explorer and navigate to the PowerPoint Translator location. Click on the folder and then copy the folder path. Open Command Prompt in Windows. Inside the Command Prompt, enter the command CD. Paste the folder's path you just copied and press Enter. Type pip install -r requirements.txt and press Enter again. That will download all the required files to make sure the PowerPoint Translator works and that you can run the Python script. How to run the Python script. After setting up Excel, installing Python and all the necessary libraries, you'll be ready to run the Python script that will translate your PowerPoint presentation. Let me show you how easy it is to run the script. Copy the path of the folder where all the files are located. Open the command prompt in Windows. Use the cd command and paste the previously copied path to navigate to the directory where the script is located. Press Enter. Once in the correct directory, type python ppt underscore translator dot py and press Enter. When you run the script, a window will pop up for you to select the PowerPoint presentation you want to translate. Once you choose the file, the translation begins. The script will show its progress, indicating the slides being translated and displaying both the original and translated text. After the translation is complete, a new PowerPoint file will be automatically generated and saved in the same folder as the original files. This new file will be identified with the prefix translated underscore, followed by the language it has been translated into and the original name of your presentation. You'll then have a fully translated version of your presentation, ready for review or any necessary adjustments. Now for Mac, things are a little different, but you'll get the same end result. Let's go back to installing the necessary libraries once you've downloaded Python. Right-click on the folder called ppt underscore translator, which is the folder that was created when you extracted or unzipped our template. Then select New Terminal at Folder. This will open a new terminal command prompt that is automatically in the extracted folder. Finally, type pip3 install -r requirements.txt and press return. This will then download all the required files to make sure the PowerPoint translator works and that you can run the Python script. Going forward, you don't need to reinstall the libraries again. Once you've entered your desired country and language into the Excel file, make sure you save the file and now you are ready to run the Python script on Mac. Let me show you how. First, right-click on the folder called ppt underscore translator 
then select New Terminal at Folder. This will open a new terminal command prompt that is automatically in the extracted folder. Finally, type python3 ppt underscore translator dot py and press return. When you run the script, a window will pop up for you to select the PowerPoint presentation you want to translate. Once you choose the file, the translation begins. The script will show its progress, indicating the slides being translated and displaying both the original and translated text. After the translation is complete, a new PowerPoint file will be automatically generated and saved in the same folder as the original files. This new file will be identified with the prefix translated underscore, followed by the language it has been translated into and the original name of your presentation. You'll then have a fully translated version of your presentation, ready for review and any necessary adjustments. Hope this tutorial helped you. Let us know if you have any questions or suggestions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.